What's going on guys? Geosnotic here, so in today's video I have some great news about the Mosaic 2017 and about the Keen Lab. You probably know that Keen Lab has demoed a jailbreak at um, Mosaic 2017 that was of course for the iOS 11 beta and for iOS 10.3.2 and the person, part of uh, Keen Lab, who actually demoed that jailbreak was Lion Chen. If you're looking here on the schedule, Lion Chen does appear with a presentation called Revisiting the Kernel Security Enhancements in iOS 10. Now unfortunately from Mosaic usually you do not get the video footages as far as I know so we don't really know what happened in there or what the presentation looked like unless somebody uploads it. Uh, King Lab is definitely this uh, account in here, this is the official account and they did present it the uh, jailbreak we discussed about it for, um, for this software in here. Now jailbreak as I say it came out as a surprise, it hasn't been scheduled in uh, the, um, the Mosaic schedule in here, let me try to find it out, well it's in here, so you can see there isn't any jailbreak related thing. The last presentation was of course Lion's presentation from King Lab or Tencent and um, the presentation is now up and this is something very good. It's now uh, available on here on uh, GitHub and it's apparently a .key file which means it's, um, it's a presentation in Keynote. I have uploaded the presentation online on iCloud.com because there is the Keynote application and even though the um, text looks a little bit off due to the font probably not matching up, the presentation is definitely important and it's definitely uh, necessary to read if you're ever considering getting into the iOS security research or if you're interested into you know understanding what's going on in the jailbreak community why there aren't any you know new releases of jailbreaks on on demand and so on so um you can see Lion Chen, Tencent, uh, Keen Lab in here, and it's the presentation from Mosaic 2017. I'm very, very glad somebody took the time to upload this, and probably it was uh, Lion himself, because he had the presentation. Anyways, it contains some information about the iOS 10 that you couldn't find in any other place, or if you could, you had to, you know, uh, try to collect it from various places and put it together in order to understand it reading this presentation for like two minutes and I, I have already understood a lot of things that I couldn't have um, taken from any other places. So you have in here uh, last year in iOS 10 and it gives you information about various vulnerabilities and jailbreak releases and why there is uh, there is uh, so much you know silence after the iOS 10.3. Uh, and uh, if you take a look in here, it also explains the code behind Pango 9.3.3 and the vulnerabilities used in there. And it also explains in here various other fixes. Uh, it has been fixed in iOS 10.0 beta 2, the vulnerability used in there. And uh, various other uh, important factors that go into a jailbreak and what Apple does in order to fix them. So uh, in this presentation, you have you know the vulnerability, the way it has been exploded, and where, for example, in Pango jailbreak in Yalu and so on, and what Apple does in order to fix it. And you even have the uh, the latest uh, bugs that have been used in uh, Yalu by Marco Grassi and uh, Luca Desco, and even by Jan Beer from uh, Google Project Zero. All very important if you're interested into understanding the current situation of the jailbreak and also if you want to understand what it takes in order to build one. So um, there are a couple uh, slides in here and most of them are very important and most of them are worth um, to you know read, take a look at them. And if you want to check them out, uh, they're in the description. I like the, uh, the last slide though, um, well, the second before last. If you go ahead and here it says one more thing and uh, the second before last slide is um, an image with of course the jailbreak running on iOS 10.3.2 on iPhone 6, on iOS 11 beta second on iPhone 7, and of course on iOS 10.3.2 on iPhone 7 on the right. So uh, pretty pretty interesting picture in here is the one that has been uh, going around the internet after the, uh, the Mosec. And uh, I'm pretty sure these guys have a very, very good jailbreak. Maybe it's not completely stable or maybe it's not uh, ready for a release yet. I'm going to keep you updated if it's going to ever be released. But the simple fact that they are working on it, they're concentrating on it and they're also, you know, publishing this stuff like this presentation here helps us the beginner developers a lot so if you're interested in you know getting into into jailbreaking and getting into understanding the current situation and how how it's done and what it takes i definitely recommend you this presentation in here to understand you know the latest bugs for example the um, the ones used in the um, extra recipe 
and in Yalu and so on, even in Pangu. And then uh, I also recommend you Fried Apple Team's uh, DIY uh, jailbreak, uh, do-it-yourself jailbreak presentation. That was definitely very interesting. I think it was at Black Hat 2017, but was definitely um, a, a killer in the in the uh, domain. If you're if you're really interested into you know learning how to jailbreak or learning what it takes, that presentation combined with this one here would definitely help you have a bigger picture. So props to Keen Lab for for you know, uh, creating this presentation, for going to Mosaic and presenting that off. Now we know that iOS 11 can be jailbroken, uh, at least the betas, and we do know that iOS 10.3.2 is definitely um, jailbreakable, just not public yet, but things can shift at any time. So do not update further on. If you're on iOS 10.3.2, you can no longer go back to 10.3.1, so you might not be able to use the, um, the exploits by um, Adam Donenfield when they get released, or you may. Uh, we, we do not know if they are compatible, whether they are compatible with the um, iOS 10.3.2 or not. But anyways, do not update further. The more you update to 10.3.2 to iOS 11 and so on, the more uh, chances you lose in order to get a jailbreak in the future. I know it's hard to wait for a jailbreak, but this is something we need to get to to live with. The jailbreaks are not going to pour like they used to do in the past, and when we get one, we need. To keep it you know safe we need to not fuck it up with various tweaks with various things that might kill the device so um, yeah this is the situation for the moment if you want to check out the presentation i found it very interesting so i decided to also uh, broadcast it to you till the next time i'm geo snow subscribe to stay updated give this video a thumb up if you like it give it a thumb down if you don't and peace out